Hello, my name is Chris Garafa from Textron Aviation's Team Longitude Customer Support. Today I'd like to walk you through the process of downloading Ares Diagnostic Information from your aircraft. Engineers have worked hard to simplify this process and it really has come a long way from where it was. Now this video will pertain to aircraft using the Ares 2 Diagnostic System. If your aircraft has Ares 1, you'll need to remove the compact flashcard from your Ares device copy the files to a computer, and send them in. Now I'd like to remind everybody that this video is for reference only, not to be used for return to service or continued airworthiness. Always refer to the maintenance manual for the correct maintenance procedures for your aircraft. With that said, let's go ahead and dive in. Start off by downloading the Textron Aviation Service app to your device. You can get this app from the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store. For today's demonstration, we'll be using an iPad in landscape format. Start off by logging into the app, and you can do this with the same username and password used to log into your Textron Aviation customer portal. Once you've logged in, select the Diagnostics tab. Now the first thing we see here is the FDM slider switch in the top left corner of your screen. This is used for flight data monitoring. If you operate a fleet of aircraft with multiple crews, you may wish to monitor your aircraft's operational performance data. You can do that with a subscription through a third-party provider using this app. For today's demonstration, leave the switch in the off position, as shown here, and select the blue connect button just here in the middle of your screen. Now, if this device has been used to log into aircraft for downloading Ares before, you may see a list of those aircraft listed here. You can select that aircraft and skip the whole serial number and password process that I'm about to go through. Now, if this is a new device, or a new aircraft, or if your Ares box has been replaced since your last download, you'll need to select the Add New button. Here you'll be asked to enter the serial number and password for your Ares device. You'll put in your airplane serial number. And then the password for the Ares device is found on the front of the recording device itself. On a Citation Longitude, we see the Ares recording device mounted upside down here in the equipment rack in the baggage compartment. It's this black box here in the middle. Now if you operate a Citation 10 Plus, 680, or 680A aircraft, that Ares box will be located in the aft closet. For an M2 or CJ series aircraft, it'll be located across the lav across from the lab in the aft cabin. Now some locations require access to be gained to get to this box, and if that's the situation, I recommend you take a note of the password and keep it uh, maybe set aside for future reference. Keep in mind this password is case sensitive, so you want to remember that when typing it in. Agree to join your airplane's network. Now here we'll be joining the Diag Ares network for longitude number five. Select the join button. You'll see a progress wheel. And depending on your device's permission settings, the app may ask you permission again to join this network. You'll want to select allow. And if this is your first time logging into the device, extra data will have to be exchanged to complete the process. This might take a few extra seconds, the app's just making you aware of that. Select the red connect button, and you'll be presented with a list of Ares files currently on your Ares device. Now you'll see we have this broken down into flight files and power cycle files. Power cycles are literally just power cycles, maybe uh, if you're doing maintenance in the hangar and you need to download Ares data for a discrepancy that you're troubleshooting. Flight files are exactly that. They're files where the airplane was in flight. In either case, you'll see a date and time expressed in universal timecode and a size of the file. On the right side of the screen, you'll see select sliders to select the files you wish to download. Select the files you need, select the blue button at the bottom of the screen. This will begin the download and pull the files from the Ares unit down to your device. As the download finishes, the app will automatically switch back over to a Wi-Fi or cellular data network, whichever is applicable, and begin to upload the files to Textron Aviation. Keep in mind, uploading often takes longer than downloading. 
So you might, uh, you might experience a little bit of a delay there. When the upload is completed, you'll see a successful dialog box confirming that the, air, that the files have been pulled from the airplane and sent to Textron Aviation. Select the OK button, and you'll be asked to enter some data. Here we ask you to put in as much data as possible. ARIES files contain an enormous amount of information, so it's very helpful for us to know what we're looking for exactly. Today we're troubleshooting a wing NIS cold left message on a longitude that happened at 15,000 feet. Enter your name, phone number, and email address down at the bottom so we know how to get in touch with you. Select the submit button in the top right corner, and that's it. The process is that simple. Now, of course, if you have any questions on this process, please feel free to contact me or any other member in customer support. We'll be happy to walk you through it. That's all for today. Thanks for joining. Have a great day and fly safe.